Dr. Joel, America's holistic heart doctor. We're talking about GMOs today. This was an interesting story. It really got a lot of attention yesterday. It sure did. Chipotle becoming one of the first major food chains to say we are saying goodbye to GMOs. Number one in America. In fact, they're international, so number one international chain. Yeah. Um, so when we talk about GMOs, I did a big investigation into these genetically modified organisms uh, two years ago. Uh, let's first talk about what they are. Yeah, you know, it's modifying usually the plant with new DNA so you can spray the heck out of it with herbicides and the plant won't die. The weeds will die. So you're making the plant, quote, stronger but in essence, you're also bombarding the plant and the environment with more and more herbicides. And you eat that plant, and the plant's been modified, plus there's soaking with herbicides. Well, and I went to a farm, when I did the story, I went to a farm in Elmont, Michigan, and I held the GMO corn, and so the, the corn had been modified to make its own pesticide, if you will, exactly. and so it's grown within the corn. The farmer told me, though, they use probably 10% of the spray-on chemicals that they used to use to protect the crops because it was now inherent in the crops, right. in the in the corn itself. Um, so when we talk about plants that are typically genetic, genetically modified, we're talking about corn, um, Soy. soybeans, yeah. sugar, sugar beets, beets so huge. Canola, canola oil. oil. Yeah. Yeah. So what does it mean that, that Chipotle is getting rid of them? Well, they sense that consumers are asking. I mean, they wouldn't do this unless it was driven that 90% of the public wants to know. Then they can make a choice, um, meaning they're going to have to source their corn chips. They're going to have to source their sugar beets. They're going to have to source even f dried fruit is often coated in oil. So they're really going to the, if it's 1% genetically modified, it won't be stocked in their stores. And it's a $3.5 billion chain. It's a pretty big piece yeah, of this business. This is a big deal. Yeah. What, the research, when I did the investigation at the time, there, there hadn't been any long-term effects discovered from eating GMOs. What do we know right now about yeah. the research? Yeah, it's true. It's a concern. We don't know that people are dying. We don't know that people are having a heart attack. We do know our own bacteria can be affected. I mean, most of these, the modify the corn, it's probably not going to change our human bacteria. But we live with these 100 trillion bacteria in our body that keep us in balance and healthy, and it can affect them. There's this awesome graph that's scary but not certain, rate of autism, rate of genetically modified food. The scientific correlation is frankly scary and so it's concerning the issue is should the public but that has never been linked let's just make that clear it's a very strong scientific association but not causation which right, is be right. the way you'd word it so should the public have a choice and figure this out on their own until more science comes up and the concern is with labeling because um, many cases so we have a bag here that's labeled non-gmo right. and we have some stores like hillers um, they have been in the forefront of this of labeling their non-gmo versus their uh, regular products right. um, and the concern with the government when it comes to labeling is that it, when you start putting labels on consumers get it causes confusion and it causes a little concern and perhaps undue concern right and, you know, the public polls still remain, 80 to 90 percent of the public is asking for that distinction so they can look at price, they can look at quality right. and make a decision. Um, and you're right, not to scare, but it's also be sort of foolhardy to say there couldn't be an issue when medical science has shown some impact on liver health, liver cells. I've just recently written on this, on the powerhouses of your cells, your mitochondria. Even heart cells have been affected in cell culture, in scientific studies. Hmm. So, All right, so we have a lot to, more to learn about GMOs, and the bottom line is, is now you have, look for that choice. We have a choice. And, yeah. you know, mom's got to run in and get food for some kids and wants to go to a national chain. One is saying, you know, we stand by this, uh, you can come to us, which is, you know, provocative, and I think we'll be successful. Interesting stuff. All right, thank you, Dr. Joel. Thank you. Good morning. Uh,